Introducing the wraparound backsplash and wraparound split bar counter. Our wraparound backsplash kit is pre-cut to fit our standard 32 inch depth of the module. Here's what it comes with. Three backsplash tubes, two catcher tracks pre-cut 33 and 3 quarter inch, and four connector plates. This is one of the easiest kits to assemble. Let me show you how to now. So I laid down all my tubes and tracks. It's this easy. All you gotta do is lay down your catcher tracks, top and bottom, and your three bar tubes. So now we're going to just slip them right in, just like this. Couldn't get any easier than this. Now when you slip these in, you want the one directly in the middle to be centered. And the ones on the ends, you want to make sure they are flush on the outsides. Nice and flush. So then we're just going to go ahead and screw it together. And that's it. The kind of screws we use for this are these low profile flush head screws. We sell these in needed extras. Now I'll go ahead and screw in the end tube with an impact drill. So here's a quick tip. You want to make sure it's really nice and flush and all the way inside the catcher track. So you can kind of hold it down, make sure I'm holding it down to the catcher track and inside and go ahead and screw it in. So now we just go ahead and screw in the rest. One in the center tube, one in the end tube on both sides, top and bottom. Now that we easily screwed it together, I just want to mention that I only screw it in on one side, the side that's going to butt up against the module, because you want your cement board to be nice and flush later on. Your cement board really is going to be the strength to hold this whole thing together up against the module once you screw it in. So for this example, we have a four foot module with a split bar counter that we've installed. Now make sure you're going to do the split bar counter first before installing the short depth side um, backsplash kit that we are about to set up here because it's going to overlap your split bar counter that you the pre-existing one that you've just completed so first we went ahead and clamped down the backsplash kit to the module and now we'll install our connector plates now you want to install the connector plates on the insides so they don't interfere with the cement board later on you want to put one high and one low You want to get a couple screws in, four is pretty good. A couple high and a couple low. This will really secure the backsplash wall to the module. So now we'll put one low. It's already secured as is right now, but it's always good to put a couple of extra screws. So once we've completed this side, we're going to go ahead and use the other two connector plates for the other side. So now we've gone ahead and clamped down the other side. Now the connector plate, you cannot do the same way you did on the first one with the with the straight connector plate here on the inside because you have this vertical tube in the way. But that's no problem. Simply just bend these connector plates. I mean, it's really simple, just bend it. Kind of make it like an S here. And then just go ahead and we'll screw it in to this vertical tube here and here. And then we'll even probably screw one in here and we'll just hammer it after the, just so it sits nice and flush so you don't cut yourself later on. So we'll just get a couple screws in. Just to the vertical tube there. So now with the leftover wing, 
I mean, you can either cut it off here or just hit it with the, with the hammer. Now you just repeat on the bottom, the same we did here. So that was the assembly of the wraparound backsplash kit. Now, if you're going to create a split bar counter, please continue to watch the assembly of the wraparound overhang part of the split bar counter. So the first step to doing the wraparound um, overhang part of it, once you've done your, your wraparound backsplash kit, you're going to get your catcher track and you're going to clamp it down nice and flush with the track from the uh, backsplash kit like you did over here. So you want to get your screws on on the ends um, first and make sure it's nice and flush, double check it before you get any screws in the field. So you want to make sure the head of the screw is not going to interfere with the tubes coming out on the ends later on. So we're going to go ahead and put it right in the middle here. Now I'll get a screw into the center tube right here. And lastly, I'll get a couple more screws in the field, two up here and two over here for extra support. So now with that, we have the catcher track screwed in. We're gonna slip in our 14 inch overhang tubes. One on the ends here, one on the end here, and one in the middle. They just slip right in. So we'll get the ones on the sides first, and then we'll get the one in the middle. So now we'll go ahead and get the screws in the bottom. So now I just slip in the catcher track into the tube and go ahead and screw in. Now when you're screwing in on the top, make sure you're holding this up tight because if you don't, it'll snap down. how easy it was to install this overhang kit now although this is very strong already you need structural support so we have our hidden bar supports that you'll need you'll need two of them one on each side these structural hidden bar supports are sold separate and you can only find them here at barbecuetubes.com now for installation of the hidden bar supports watch our overhang kit video so our next step is to install the bar gap filler but before we do we want to remove these screws on the outsides here and here only so that it will sit nice and flush later on when we when it grabs the track. So now that I got these screws off, I can go ahead and slip in the bar gap filler. The next step is that we're going to do is clamp them down. Now we'll go ahead and screw it down. So I got my screw in on the top and bottom, and I'll just repeat on this side. So that completes a video of a wraparound split bar counter. As you can see, this creates a really nice look where two split bars meet up. Uh, architecturally speaking, um, a 45 degree angle is uh, preferred rather than having a blunt 90 degree angle here where someone can get hurt uh, and it's just a nicer overall look um, so that concludes the video uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time and don't forget to like our video and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe we're always creating cool new things here at barbecue tubes